What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller from IGN.com, alongside PlayStation Seth Killian. Good day, sir. Good day to you. You're playing as the Ratchet. I am. He's got Clank on his back. I'm assuming this is like Jack and Daxter. I do have a little where Clank. I, where I won't get two kills for killing you at the same time. Good I've let in, ladies and gentlemen, hey, podcast beyond person, Colin Moriarty, to watch us destroy each other. Uh, tell me about Ratchet. What, what kind of character is he? Uh, excellent. Uh, <laughs> you the, say that about every character. The best kind. No, I think he's really strong. He's got one of the, my favorite level ones in the game. Um, he's got a lot of really versatile moves as far as, like, uh, range. So I think maybe not quite the best up, up close, mm -hmm. but at just outside of short range, uh, very, very strong. Uh, you can do all sorts of nasty stuff. Oh, wow. Can't do that, though, can he? <laughs> Princess. Ah, leave me alone. And I can set up little traps, so that wasn't very exciting. Oh, we're, we're, no, we're so moving up. we got to move up. Hold this tower. And now everybody who wants to get through there, ha ha, is trapped. That's a good point. So, when Superbot's making this, are, are, do they oh, have no, to consider, no, no. It's, it's similar to how we're talking about, uh, you know, Cole's got two different versions. Was there talk, you think, of, you know, hey, maybe we should put Clank in there, you know, Secret Agent Clank, he's got his own games now, but in the it's current true. Ratchet games, he's all over the place, he's not on his back anymore. No, even Jack has his own stuff, but uh, we, we decided to get him in there a little bit. Let's see if I can not suck quite as bad, and then... Uh, it's tough. I mean, <laughs> you are Seth Killian. <laughs> I do have a lot of the suck. The big <laughs> suck that wants to come out. Um... We, we found ways to get him in the game uh, without having him necessarily be a playable character. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think that's, that's been pretty satisfying. But let me see if I can avoid getting... Yes. I'm not dead yet. Yes. No. And then you the are, silence you comes are just in rel it's relentless. Yes, it's, I'm trying to. Hey, I gotta get good. All right, Colin Moriarty's got like a weak head start. He played this game with you guys for like 24 hours. I gotta get. I gotta figure out what's going on. Stay away from me. I'm building my little wall. Oh, here comes the race. Me. Set off by Zeke Dunbar, the greatest character in PlayStation history. <laughs> so here's here's how I roll with as Clank. Here's how I roll as Clank. Oh, you're using the time bubbles. From, yes. Oh, nice. Inside time bubble, everybody, and then can they get stuck in there? And uh, then I turn back into uh, Mr. Ratchet as soon as Clank's party is over. No, no, come here. I don't want any trouble. No, you're never gonna get me. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. That's the wrong game. Yeah, but I hear it's coming to Vita one day, so no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one too. Oh, oh, we got hit with a mass oh, inverter there. I don't like that. I'm not a fan either. Oh. Uh. Oh, get fucked. I'm gonna these stabbing. Ten seconds left already? It flies by when you're having fun, like you have in PlayStation All Stars uh, available little, November 20th. Oh, pal, coming out here. Time off. There you go. Indeed. Uh, epic loss there for me. Yeah, well, Toro. I had some good kills, the cat but beat us. I know. The cat got us while we were all. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll have a chance to redeem ourselves this November. Seth, thank you so much for coming by. My pleasure. Say beyond. Beyond. Beyond! Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Miller. And I'm, a, I'm a right next to the Seth Killian here. Seth Killian, you're from PlayStation, how are you? I'm a Seth Killian, that's true, I am from the I'm sure there's other ones, I'm sure there's other ones. <laughs> you're playing as Sackboy, you're gonna show me how cool Sackboy is, right? Sackboy, one of my personal favorites, yeah. He's got all sorts of zaniness. Uh, I've got a Cakeinator, which I'm gonna do there. Oh, Drake, don't be uncool. Oh. Don't you know we're in a demo, Drake? Backslam. Uh, that's one of my favorite moves. And the fan is uh, super awesome. Talk to me a bit about this fan. I've read the previews. I saw Colin Moriarty talking about it. What, what it's, he's putting on this fan, it pushes everything around? That's correct. You basically, you drop the fan, and everything in the fan's wake. It is destructible, I'll say, which I don't, I don't approve of, combat team. But yeah, you basically see everything you do into the fan gets pushed around. So I can throw this little ball, and you see it accelerate through there. And drop my little volleyball. And the fan will even move me. So if I use my little jetpack there, uh, if I manage to get in the fan's blast, it will become way more powerful. What are some other moves here? He's got the jetpack, obviously. He does. Pop it menu popping up. And I can also drop my little teleporter. There we go. And I, I just go right back through there anytime. I can put it up in the sky. So if I find myself in trouble on the ground, 
can just go right up there. How long does that last for? Uh, it'll stay there, although Until again, you... uh, your opponents... Oh, I got blown up by Drake. And then Dante killed us all. That's it, Sackboy must take revenge. Need some items. He's got a lot of fun throws. Let's see if we can grab somebody. Not Ratchet, all right? You're not going to touch Ratchet. All right, the no Lombax Ratchet. off limit. The German suplex with the Grabinator. Uh. He's also got uh, the electric pad, a bounce pad that he can drop in the air or let anybody else bounce on it and go flying up into the air with hilarious sounds. Uh, suplex time, the rocket, which get is very good. Get away from him! Cake. And this little volleyball that will bounce everywhere around the screen. Stick to whoever. But he's, all, he's actually a pretty uh, high skill character, so you can do things like you drop your electric pad, uh, use your bounce pad to get up out of danger. Is he kind of a jack of all trades, a good one for everybody to play as? Because I, you know, I played as him already in one of these videos. Depending on the day it went live, you don't know maybe. But <laughs> I was awesome. I was having he's, a great time. He's he, so far my favorite character. He's one of my very favorite characters in terms of just overall silliness and fun. He is one of the more. Uh, Damn he's man! Got a why lot am I shooting off screen, Seth? I know better than that. Oddball <laughs> attacks. Let me bust out this. I use my poppet. Oh, God. Drop the hot coals. <laughs> And everybody goes underneath. Here's my fan. Jump and throw junk at people. So he has actually, you got to be sort of smart with his attacks and uh, learn where to put like your, your teleporter, uh, learn where to drop the fan. So he's, uh, I sort of liken him to sort of almost like a Dalsim like kind of character. Like you really got to pick your shots, yeah. but he's also just hilarious and a lot of fun to play with some really good supers. Awesome. Seth, when's this here uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale come out? It'll be out November 20th for PlayStation 3 and the Vita. And if you buy it on PlayStation 3, it comes to you for Vita at no cost. I believe at USP on Twitter calls it cross-buy. <laughs> the cross-buy functionality. I'll, I can't argue with him. I beat you. But for everything else, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Keep it on IGN.com. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller. I'm my PlayStation Seth Killian. Seth, how are you? I'm awesome. Seth, what character are you going to show me today? Today we have... Medieval's Sir Daniel. Oh, look at him take off his head. I know. So cute. Now, now uh, over on Podcast Beyond, the official PlayStation podcast of IGN, the number one PlayStation podcast on the internet. I'm sure you know it well. Never heard of it. Uh, Colin Moriarty was talking that when he went down there and you know saw all the levels, all the characters here in the game, that not many people used Sir Daniel. What's that all about? Well, Sir Daniel is getting a little bit of love, but uh, he's one of your goofier characters, but definitely has some juice. So hopefully I can show some of that off. So he's got a... Uh, basically... Kind of a big, kind of oafish guy. Um, he's got like kind of zanier, very heavily animated moves, but uh, you can be pretty effective with him if you think about it in the right way. Let's put some fire down on the ground. Put some AP over here. See if we can get a little combo going. Oh, oh evil cold right in the face. I like evil cold a lot so far. This is my first time with him. And now we're scrolling up. Ow, oh, I missed it. No. Are we gonna be caught down here? I think I'm gonna be caught. I got knocked off the edge. And you're stunned, you lose a little AP and get knocked off like that. I have a question for you there, Seth Kelly. Please. You're, you're a PlayStation One Stars expert here. <laughs> do, you, do you play with the D-pad or are you playing with the joystick? Uh, I'm playing with the thumbstick, but I also play with, uh, I play with the D-pad and I play with arcade stick as well. So oh gosh, right. I think ultimately I will move to the arcade down. stick just because I'm that kind of nerd. Yeah. But uh, let's get some mutton thrown in here. Make it rain. Mutton. Bow. Arrows at you. Yeah, Sir Daniel's a little bit more what we call an intentional character. Because he's got a lot of uh, animations, but he builds AP really fast uh, as well. As well as uh, once he's got his shield out, like you'll see me summon a shield. Uh -huh. That's got a huge amount of armor, so I can just suck up attacks and plow through everybody if I don't fall off the edge. I didn't. Yes, I'm a hero. So now we're playing on all the tower here from the from one. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah, so you what's see it, actually yeah, the, what's it with next up with? the race sphere. You'll see uh, Carmelita making a little appearance. You've seen her floating around. I'm standing in the race sphere here. If I let it throw to full size, you'll see it eject all this AP so I can power up really quickly and then fire off my cheap level 2 and kill you and then home in and kill the rest of the players too. You can dodge that. What exactly was tough. it? It was like your sword beamed up to the sky? He's got a chalice and it's full of awesome stuff okay. and then he uh, tears that out. Chalice of mouse. Yes, exactly. My shield on my shield will also power up my charge. So I can plow through everybody. Oh, no. I'm oh. Time's I don't know up. Super, I wanted to 
super you have your super. That's one of my favorite cheat things to do. You know all the cheat moves. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then puts fire down. So he's got these big heavy sword strikes, but yeah, really with that shield, it's really good stuff. Oh, no. Crap. No. It's the chicken. I just got supered out of my own move. No. Nope. Princess. There you go. No. Stay away. Leave me alone. Ah. Nice. Oh, hit the back by the hedgehog. Ten seconds left. Give me some keys. Alright, here we go. No. Who do you recommend Sir Daniel for? No, I missed it. Sir Daniel, I would say, uh, for trolls, is an excellent <laughs> player. Like, if you want to get in there and uh, take advantage of some of the zany animations and taunts, he's a hilarious character, tons of great moves. Alright. Seth, when's this PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale come out? It's coming out November 20th. If you pick it up on PS3, you'll get it on PlayStation Vita at no cost. That's what they call a cross-buy, and for cool information like that, <laughs> keep it on IGN.com. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller from IGN.com, alongside PlayStation Seth Killian. Hey, Seth. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? That's you, you're playing a Spike. <laughs> I do kind of feel like Spike. I don't know if I actually look like Spike, but he's close to my height. You spiked your hair up a bit more. There we go. Uh, what's Spike all about? Tell me about him as a character here in PlayStation All-Stars. Battle Royale. Uh, you can basically, he can call in his monkeys, but he's sort of a close range battler kind of in your face. He's got uh, a lot of really strong moves up close. Great uppercut into an eject there. Uh, throwing the uh, banana ring as well. So you'll see, i got my hula hoop on. What am I going to do here? There My boxing go. glove to nobody. Oh, in the face. And I can throw out my little monkey. Or if I hold down that button. Oh, that's the punching bag. Ayachi, you are not helping me. Which means you, you will be killed, but he didn't die. I'm going to eject him out of here. But if I hold it down, you'll see, bam! I can get different kinds of monkeys. Flying monkeys, giant monkeys, all sorts of stuff. Will the band the monkeys come out? <laughs> Couldn't get the rights, Oh, you? Dante. I'm a huge monkeys fan, actually. Yeah. I've seen the monkeys movie, Head. It's an incredible one. Uh, <laughs> so this is audible. You can dash down. Oh, I can do my, uh, yeah. So then who do you recommend Spike for? Is Spike he, is, he, is actually an excellent starting character. He's got a really, really great level two, but a, a level one that's really effective as well. Let's see if I can not get hit out of it by Hayachi this time. Oh, Hayachi, why are you so, why are you so buff? Why are you so crazy? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. He got hit the thing. But it is a great one. He's, yeah, I think he's a, a solid starting character with a lot of uh, interesting options. Um, but really good just up close. So when you get that urge to like, I just want to be close to where the action is and not get hit out of all my stuff, yeah. Spike's your man. He's uh, got the batons out there for days. Banana ring. And, uh, following that up. Awesome. Sword dive. Uh. Jeez. Yeah, he's pretty strong up close. And let's see if I can build up to my level two, which is also pretty buff. No. Oh, I put myself into the pit. Almost got that on the tail. Of course, the Ratchet and Clank stage here. Bam. Mashed up with God of War. Indeed, you see the Hydras back there. Let's see if I can get everybody on the ground. Oh, I only got Toro. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I can't have you beating me twice in a row. I don't think Toro has put up any. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about my Toro skills beating you. Let's see if I can land my RC car. Go, my go. RC car. Do it. Uh, oh, I bricked. <laughs> <laughs> I got to increase the hitbox. That's a Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah. There you go. Now that you take this home, you'll know exactly what you need to do. And we all suck. Well, sad, sad faces for all. There you go. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale at November 20th. Looks so good the computer can beat you. <laughs> we are jokes. Shadows of our former self, Seth Killian. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller from IGN.com, alongside PlayStation Seth Killian. How are you? I'm delightful, Seth. How are you? I'm having a good day. Uh, you're showing me Toro right now here from PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. What is Toro all about? Toro is all about many, many... What do you want him to be all about? No, he's... Uh, he's a He's a shapeshifter. He's a man of uh, many, many outfits. But, oh, he's uh, a cat, isn't he? Yes. Okay. Well, there's also that. And there's <laughs> sleeping in a little parachute. Oh, well. uh, and sweeping there and doing a little boot kick to the back of Mr. Sweet Toot's head. 
But uh, Toro's really interesting because um, he basically uses a circle button to switch stances. So he starts in sort of a, I wouldn't want to say a Ryu Toro, but uh, maybe a Ryu-inspired version of uh, Toro into the back. There we go. And then I can stance shift. I got, yeah, I you just, just got, got shifted by Sweet Tooth me. This game is broken. <laughs> Something is wrong. And I can go into Oni Toro, uh, where I get a completely different set of moves. And you can see my mochi-powered uppercut. Now, Toro, he's my a big deal in Japan, right? Mochi explosion. Yeah, he's very popular. And actually, there's a whole Toro team in Japan uh, with a lot of very precise... Specifications about Mr. Toro. Oh, what he can't so, can do? Yes, and it's very, very interesting to us. And here, oh, I missed the edge. And now I'm going down into the pit. But let's see if I can take out Sweet Tooth here with a little bit of trickery. Boom! I used my friend Kuro uh, after some unfortunate Nariko had fallen off the edge. Oh, no, she's defending herself. Thank you, CPU Radic. But I can also switch into the ninja. And I get uh, not only my little slide along the ground, which leaves fish bones in its wake, but I also get one of my favorite little moves there. So now, is there a concern when, oh, like, stars. when no. Superbot's creating these characters, especially for someone like Toro, who can shapeshift into different characters and then have different moves, that it's going to get too complicated? Uh, I would say Toro's... A little complicated, but uh, still not too bad at all because, again, you're just talking about buttons plus a direction. And to switch stances is really nothing more than hitting a button. And uh, basically your square button will, will remain mostly similar, but your four attacks on triangle buttons start to get radically different. Gotcha. So you really only have to worry about one new button. You'll always have some go-tos. And thank you to whoever just kicked me off the edge there, by that the way. That was me. Sweet tooth. Try, try and do a little talky talk. Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah. That's, that's, my, that's, that's how I get you. I, I ask you the question, then I come get you. That we were cool, man. Oh, so hey, we were talking about this like three videos ago, and then we never got back to it. Online's working? Online I can't is actually pretty latency. amazing. I can't so, have the problems. Yeah, online has been uh, one of the focuses right from the start. So I was saying before, oh man, the food <laughs> kick again. Same thing. Uncool. I'm not even going to get to a level two. Uh, online has been one of the focuses right from the start. And uh, rather than being tacked on at the end, it was part of the core development right from the beginning. The online uh, reviews from the beta have been incredible so far, and the final code has only gotten way better. I don't want to spoil it, but what the hell, really? Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, okay. my huh? first negative score. Thanks well, to Mr. Sweet Tooth. 11 kills. Yeah. The Whoa. boot. The boot. I like this character. Ship him that way. Don't address <laughs> a dang thing about him. Of course, PlayStation All-Stars ships November 20th. Get your pre-orders in now. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, alongside PlayStation Seth Killian. What's up, Greg? Nothing. How you doing? <laughs> I'm having a pretty good day. We're playing this PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Who are you playing as right now? Uh, I have Raiden. Don't call him Raiden. Don't call him Raiden. Call him Raiden. Raiden. Oh, my favorite. Old Jack. Yes. I'm sure Rose is going to chime in a lot here, tell him about some baby we don't care about. Come on. Kojima-san would not like that. Oh, he would love it. He, he loves my humor. He gets it. I follow him on Twitter. <laughs> uh, so talk to me a little bit about Raiden here. What, 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 what do you got for him? Uh, Ra Raiden. Raiden is an awesome character. Uh, very, very mobile. Uh, he's got all sorts of uh, sword strikes. So he gets in there, gets some good... Oh, I'm trying to get up a launch here. Another very sort of combo-heavy character. And once they get you in the air, start making with the choppity chop. Just pull out my sweet legs, do the splits, do a quick super, launch the cat princess, go for more air combos. But yeah, very, uh, very mobile, um, so I can slide around in the air. I can slide around on the, oh, yeah. slide around on the ground. Now you interrupted my big daddy special there. That's exactly how, how did you do that? You just, you gotta, you gotta I, pop popped, I popped you right out of it. Uh, so level one specials can actually be no, 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 big daddy almost knocked me into I'm there. Trying. Here. here we go. Oh, I got sucked up. Mr. Ratchet, pulling out my counter, but nobody's going for it. I feel like this big battle ball. And make with the choppy chops. Everybody gets mm. Stay away from me. You're already dead. 
So now what kind of character then is Raiden? I mean, who, who are you recommending plays here as Raiden? Uh, Raiden, would say, is a little more advanced character. He's got a lot of really good mobility, uh, ability to fly around the screen. Uh, very quickly, but uh, a lot more intentional. So a lot of his moves are what we call unsafe, potentially, so you have to be very judicious with your strikes. If you just jump into the battle ball and uh, you're really putting yourself at risk. But he does have a great level one super. Uh, it's really good against, basically, when you get knocked down, you have the option to sort of stay on the ground or roll forward or backwards. Uh, his level one super does that. Well, if I hadn't gotten supered myself by Fat Princess, you probably heard me talking through the computer. Uh, and then I got hit by Big Daddy. It's not going well for me. Hey, that was my first time actually getting one off, so <laughs> just let me have my moment. You can take it. I'm going to get this rocket launcher and then everyone will pay. Everyone did pay at all three of them. Uh, but yeah, definitely a more sort of combo heavy character. And uh, it's Arpeggio. Why are you doing this to me? Get off my ledge. We're supposed to wait for anything. Uh, okay, it's a counter. Can we all get hit with the pie? Uh, definitely a little bit more on the technical side, sort of more, slightly more advanced, but uh, a lot of fun. And actually, for fans of the series, I think you'll find a lot of little touches that make him worth your time. Is the codec in there? <laughs> we'll see. We get some very special sounds as well as uh, Metal Gear stage showing up as well. Uh, and his level three is really exceptional. He puts you all in the boxes and then everyone's hiding in boxes and he goes and flashes the boxes. Nice, not too shabby. Well, my worst showing ever playing <laughs> with you in this series, so I will never be Big Daddy again. I finally pulled it off. Too slow, yeah. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> PlayStation Seth Killing. For everything PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, keep it here on IGN.com. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, alongside PlayStation Seth Killian. Seth, how are you? I'm doing great. Seth, you, you brought in this PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. You're I playing as Jack and Daxter. I got them both. Yeah, so now is that an unfair advantage? Do, every time I kill you, do I get two kills? <laughs> no, Daxter secretly is, jumps away. You don't even see it. Oh, okay, he, he's, he's never, he never dies. Yeah, he's, uh, Jack is a fantastic character. Uh, I think he's a, a great, he's a character you can start with, but also uh, one of the top level characters in the game, in my opinion right now. He's Why got is that? a lot of mobility in the air, um, so I can really control where I want to be, as well as a lot of really strong moves on the ground there. Uh, ability to c control space up close with little spins like that. And you thought you knocked me off the edge, but look, I'm already back. Bam. And let's see if I can get a little, uh, oh, no, I'm in too close. I'm in too deep. Like the Sum 41 song. There we go. Oh man, Kratos is just the bane of my existence, this guy. I got my little disc of doom out. Oh, I've been iced. It's the worst possible thing. I see you taking this advantage of my weakness. Is awesome. I'm gonna make you sorry for this. No. Defending. use my little ricochet shot all over the place here. Particularly strong. And that's giving me my level two. Bam, which got him from the backside. It's the best side to attack from. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a lot of really strong range options, uh, as well as some up close space control. He's really got the, the full package. There's the Mass Inverter, and Kratos just super me right out of it. <laughs> the Mass Inverter is really nice. If you can catch people in that, it will set up a free level 1 for you. It is a little slower, of course, as we showed there. How hard was it for Superbot to try to make a game like this with all these crazy characters and balance them out? Uh, that's, that's really, it's hard, but it's also the real joy. Is These characters all have such great backstories. Uh, some of them have combat histories. Of course, Jack no slouch in that regard. But uh, many of them don't really have uh, that kind of stuff. So coming up with the way their moves are going to work or what their moves might even be is a real, I don't know, one of my very favorite things. And let's see if I can pop everybody. Oh, I didn't get popped. Oh, I got nothing. I got excited to build my dramatic finish there and then got hit out of it. That'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed it happens a lot in this game. <laughs> yes, especially with four, four player. And I think we've got the computer on... Uh, Unfortunately, high difficulty. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm learning. I'm, I'm getting, getting jazzed up. I got 20 seconds here. Oh, Sly in the back. He's getting everybody. 
But it, yeah, I mean, just to really try and represent the characters is, you know, because we've been fans of these characters for so long, to see them really come to life in a game like this, as well as trying to make it uh, fair and fun, has been one of my absolutely favorite things about the game. And good Cole. Oh, I was Taking saving. I saved the entire match to try to get to level three, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> but you got a level two that killed everybody. Yeah, so. yeah that's right. That's, that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. You know what I mean? You give me a, a week with this game, Seth Killian, and you'll see some real things. <laughs> but everybody else has to wait till November twentieth, right? That's the date. PlayStation three and Vita. If you buy it on PS three, get it on Vita for free. What a deal! I tell you what, that PlayStation—they they know value. <laughs> for everything PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, keep it here on IGN.com.